and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kiran Mai and I'm a classical dancer by profession. But my tryst with anything creative has been a lifelong affair. Off late, I have also achieved the title of being a new mom. And this has enabled me to stay at home more often and in the process get better at my homemaking skills. And while I do this, I realize how much I enjoy keeping things organized. Today, I'm going to speak about the wardrobes in our bedroom, how I had them designed and how I organize them. The wardrobes in our bedroom have been made by this company called Fabian's Living. I will link them in the description below. So we have an eight feet tall cupboard with three partitions and three sliding doors on top of them. Because the bed faces the wardrobes, we wanted to make sure that the wardrobes look uh, like a part of the decor. Elements like rattan or cane wicker as they call have been trending quite a lot in the decor spaces nowadays. It's very Indian and organic and rustic at the same time it brings a contemporary touch to any space Fabian's living helped me design these wardrobes where they gave me this beautiful cane weaving sandwiched between glass on both sides I also like the little detailing they gave where each door is outlined by this beautiful very minimal black profile and this beige outline that frames the door which uh, almost gives this entire wardrobe the look of an art installation. They look so elegant and poised. I, I I just can't get over how beautiful they are. With respect to maintenance, I would say that it is quite easy because the wicker is sandwiched between glass on both sides. So there is no question of dust getting accumulated inside the wicker. The, everything is completely protected and the end result is just a stunning masterpiece inside my bedroom. This cupboard is shared between me and my husband. I would say that I'm guilty of uh, hogging a lot more space than he does. I, I do have a lot more belongings than he does. So two of these cupboards are mine and one is for him. So in my main cupboard, I've made sure that uh, at my eye level and uh, below hip level, I've kept all the things that I regularly use on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, trying to keep them all very accessible and convenient. And uh, the above, above that space are the saris that I use occasionally. I'm not a big sari wearer, I must say, but these are still uh, the saris that I do take out very often. As you can see, I've uh, clearly used a lot of different kinds of drawers and pullouts. Now, most cupboards have the top portion uh, given as a shelving unit. And after that, there is a rod where you can hang your clothes and then come the drawers and the various shelves. Now, how many of us women really use the hanging space, I wonder. I know that we have some saris and we hang them, but if you're like me who wears salwar kameezes or uh, western clothes, then this space is a gross waste. For men, it makes sense because they have a lot of shirts that they can hang coats and jackets and and whatnot but uh, for us I feel like in the past I have tried using those hanging boxes double hangers triple hangers all sorts of things but I found not a very efficient way to utilize that space so this pull down coat hanger seemed like the best option for me to utilize the highest part of the space so this is an eight feet covered and this coat uh, hanger goes all the way to the top and I use this to hang most of my my saris and when I require these saris I just have to pull down the coat hanger and uh, it comes to my eye level I can easily access whatever I want sift through the saris and once I'm, I'm done making my choice I can push the coat hanger back up and it frees down the space below and this I feel has become a total game changer in how you store your clothes in a vertical frame so given how much space gets empty at my eye level, this becomes my space where I quickly dump in my bag or my quick accessories, thus keeping my rest of the bedroom clutter free. There is a glass top which uh, gives me a view of what is underneath, uh, which is a pull-out tray. So this pull-out tray is also for keeping most of my day-to-day -day accessories. If you know me, you know I'm an earring person, so I keep most of my earring collection here. And this little insert is from Ikea, which fits right into this pull-out tray. I keep uh, the regular things like bindis, tissues, watch chargers or hard disks in this space. And uh, you can see that there's still so much space left for me. and it's all clutter free so I can always come back and dump some bills, documents, files which are 
always visible to my eye thanks to the glass top. This is a masala box which I got long back from Amazon. It can open storage for my little trinkets would be a very efficient way to store them because that way I know where is what and I won't forget how many earrings I have. This too is a brass container which uh, originally came as a puja thali or a masala box but it was too tiny to store my masala so I just use it for keeping my earrings. Now the next pull out tray is also similar to the tray above except there is more depth here. I cannot tell you how much storage these separators offer. You can see that I've stacked the clothes vertically this way I can always see what is where and I will not make a mess when I pull out one piece of clothing. So this space houses all my sportswear, my chudis or leggings, undergarments and my regularly used t-shirts. I'm currently like a mom who's staying at home shifting from one set of night clothes to another set of night clothes. So this drawer is like my go-to space and it, it keeps like the things that I use every single day. The next two drawers are glass fascia drawers. This is the level which is slightly around your hip. Easiest way to see what is in, inside that space would be if it were a drawer. And a better option still would be a glass fascia drawer. That way you can see from outside itself what is there and what is stacked on top of the other. And when you open the cupboard, you can easily access your clothes. In the first drawer, I keep most of my kurtas. In India, we have the hobies who, who take our clothes and iron them and bring them back folded in a certain way. So this seemed like the best way because this is exactly how my dobi brings it and I just put them one on top of the other. And as you can see, there is, it's so clutter free and clean. Below this are also some of my regularly used uh, home uh, denims or some feeding nursing wear. I would also like to add that before I started cleaning up my cupboard, I did get rid of a large, large number of things that I'm not using at the moment. So I made sure that I break ties with all the things that I don't use on a regular basis and either give it away to others or keep it away in a, di in a different place so that the space is as clutter free as possible. The next two baskets at the bottom are wire mesh baskets. So I keep my night clothes, regularly worn skirts and some top and again stacked uh, in vertically uh, one be one behind the other and below this drawer is where I keep all my dupattas I'm not very proud of the number of dupattas I own these are like almost like 10-15 years old and I know I'm supposed to get rid of them but I'm a dancer and I used to use all these dupattas for my practice to just tie around my waist and no matter how sweaty and how uh, old and uh, worn out these get we just hold on to them that's the dancer thing but yeah i'm working on it i'm going to get rid of them very soon but until then this way of storing them makes it very easy to access very easy to uh, see the middle section of the cupboard is also mine yes so this uh, section has about four wooden drawers and the rest of it is all shelving. The topmost, like I mentioned earlier, is the shelving that is not very accessible to me. So I keep my uh, party clothes and really heavy embroidered lehengas or you know those kind of things. I put them all inside this white IKEA bag and below that uh, this huge shelf space. So here are again things that I don't use very often but I'd like to keep them in my eye. I also have my gym bag and laptop bag on the other side. Below that are these really nice baskets that I found on Amazon which are great for stacking clothes to a large height without the risk of them toppling over. So we that it has over here allows you to see what is inside and you can pull something and not ruin the uh, folds of the clothes above. So I have my t-shirts, crop tops and I've kept them all in here in these drawer separators and you can see how many clothes I have been able to fit inside a cup, inside a drawer because of these separators and arrangement technique. I've used the same method for even storing my blouses. And finally, at the bottommost drawer, is, uh, I've kept my uh, wedding saris and the more expensive brand uh, heavy saris which I have wrapped up in cloth just to protect them from one another. So that was a tour of my side. I don't think I'll be showing you my husband's side, but leave your comments below and uh, probably you can convince him to show, show you his side of the wardrobe and how we've organized it.
so until then if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do do like and share and show some love